morning. We're still in Bend. We still don't have a house. We do have new stickers. And pretty much the coolest thing happened yesterday. We almost ran into someone wearing a TTL hat. Someone we didn't know, running down the street. First time we've actually seen one of our things like in the wild. Pretty cool, pretty cool thing. So whoever that was, if you remember us, or if you were just borrowing your friend's hat, that was very cool. Flynn has this unnatural obsession with the frisbee that he like can't think about anything else all day long and we're it's got something to do with the uh, floppiness of the frisbee. It's like the mouthfeel. He can't get his brain off of it. So first impression of the check it <laughs> while we're on the break. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> like he's not overly obsessed with it, so it's better. Alright, we're still in Oregon. We're heading out to Smith Rock, which is about 45 minutes from Bend. And uh, we're gonna run with our friend Nick. He's gonna do some footage for us. He's super artsy, he's like a musician, producer, cool guy. A lot of his music's actually in our vlog. Um, and we just like became best friends on uh, Instagram. Yeah, I've been to Bend, I mean, tons and tons of times obviously, but I've never been to Smith Rock. It's like this epic climbing destination. Um, so yeah, still the first time. <laughs> yeah. If I climb, I have it here. Risk of risk, Paula. Spectacular. Just amazing. Thank you for making this. 
Just an unforgettable run. I mean, it was <laughs> it's unforgettable <laughs> for like 20 reasons. You can do reasons, a little out and back. If you yeah, want you want to go that way? way? It's really nice. Oh yeah, let's do the really flat, flat out and, out and back. back. Eric and Paula just murdered an innocent triathlete in broad daylight. Sign to go up. Getting some COVID tests so we can hang out with the Wadis and be safe. So responsible. Yeah. We're taking a little bit of a gamble since they're like a two day turnaround and we'll be almost to Arizona when we get the results, but I feel good. I feel fine. Yeah. I don't think we have COVID, but no. better be safe than sorry. Sorry. Is it fun to get a COVID test? <laughs> I don't know. I have heard that dogs can get COVID. Hi. Hi there. Are you guys registered? Yep. yep. Do you have vouchers printed? No, just on our phones. Okay, if you give me the number, I can help you with that. Okay, it's um, 3 3. It's kind of intense. <laughs> oh, drop it in there. All right, none of your garbage. I'll toss it for you. Okay, you guys. It's Thank you so much. Um, it's a standard. Um, it, it'll come across as your results as an email. If you don't see it, then thing in a day. Now that it's nice and warm, we meet up with Curtis Feltner, another pro triathlete in town, and uh, do some intervals or something on our gravel bikes. Just too nice to ride inside today. I know there's a lot of GoPro footage in this episode, but is what it is. It's kind of, we've been short on time with all the house searching. So. Today we're on our way to Tucson, finally. We are gonna be driving pretty much through the middle of nowhere, down basically, we're hoping to make it to Vegas. So kind of taking the Nevada route versus the I-5 route through California. Unfortunately with Oregon, the coronavirus cases are on the downturn, but it's a stricter state, so the pools are not open, and we have to head to, head to Tucson. We have a 19 hour drive ahead of us. I'm only 16 left. Now 16. Six, now 16.
Okay. Longest drive ever. We made it to Tucson. Two whole days in the car. We're throwing the throwing the ball around for Flynn a little bit, get him some exercise. We're gonna go for a quick run. And then um, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Finally getting to work. <laughs>